Today, we're gonna to show you how to install Convergence API and also set up high level so you can get the best possible tracking for your clients and your agency. So stay tuned and build along with us. All right, so the first thing that we're gonna do is when you come in here, just to make it super simple, now there's a lot of different ways to get into your Facebook ads account. We're gonna go this way and I'm just so then we all kind of come in at the same place, right? So the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna log into our business manager account inside of Facebook and we're gonna go through the whole Conversions API creation process. All right, so I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna go to my Facebook business manager. I'm gonna go ahead and select that. Once I select that, it's gonna ask me to log in with Facebook. You can log in with your Instagram. I'm gonna go ahead and put in my details and we'll be right back. All right, now that I'm in the first thing I'm going to go do is I'm going to go over to the left hand side and I'm going to hit all tools inside of all tools. The one thing that I want to try to get is I'm going to try to get into my ads manager. It's just the easiest way. The other way you can do it is you can go to settings. This is actually probably the easiest way. And once we come in here, the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to go to data sources and I'm going to go to pixel. Now I'm going to pretend that you don't have a pixel or if you do have a pixel, it's going to follow the same process. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to hit add a pixel and I'm going to name it. We're going to name this one the automated marketer pixel. All right, and you can put your website right here. In other words, I'm not gonna do any of that. I'm just gonna hit continue. Now that I have continue, set up my pixel now, and I'm gonna do manually add the pixel to code to my website. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that, and it's gonna give you an automatic pixel. Now, this is super important. In order for you to keep a hold of all this, what I tend to do is I create a Google Doc, and I go to my Google Drive account, and basically what I'll do is I'll put all my codes in one spot, so then it's easy for me to find at a different place. So I'll just log into one of my Google accounts, here and I'll take the code that it has here. I'm going to go ahead and copy it and I'm going to drop it into my document, Facebook codes for AM. Okay. And then I'm going to come over here. I always like to turn on advanced matching. All right. Yep. Oh, turn on. I'm just going to turn all this on. Fantastic. And we can go ahead and send test traffic. In order for me to send test traffic, I need to put it in an actual site. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now and I'm going to walk you through it. So I went into one of my high level accounts and what I did is I went into sites. I pick my funnel and then inside this area here, you have two places where you can put it. We usually like to do it in the head tracking code, which is right here. I'm gonna come over here again, grab my code. I'm gonna paste it on here and I'm gonna ensure that it's good by enlarging this. And you can see I got my pixel code right up in here. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and hit save. Once I hit save, I know that this is ready to go. And what I can do is I can test to see whether or not it's picking it up. So I'm gonna come over here, send test traffic, give it a second. And you now see that my pixel is active and I'm gonna go ahead and continue. So now I've created a pixel and just kind of go. Now we're gonna go ahead and walk through this and set up the event sales tool, but we don't wanna do that because we wanna go straight to Converges API. So I'm actually gonna skip this part and I'm gonna go ahead and open the pixel I created in the right hand side, open events manager. And the most important part about all this, go to settings and I wanna set up Converges API. So I'm gonna go all the way down and I'm gonna get started on the manual piece under settings. So again, I'm gonna kind of repeat what I did. Let me just go all the way back out. In Business Meta Suite, I went to pixels. I created my pixels if I didn't have one. If I had one, it would be the same exact thing. Whichever pixel I need, I'm gonna hit the right hand side and I'm gonna go to open an events manager. Inside open an events manager, I'm gonna come directly in here. And what I'm gonna do is, I'm going to go all the way to settings and in settings, I'm going to scroll all the way down and I'm going to go ahead and go into Converges API, set up manually, get started. All right. And then it's going to ask me a whole bunch of questions. It tells me about the whole thing. Read it. It's actually really good information. I'm going to go ahead and hit continue. And I usually like select other, but you can select one that's very, you know, whatever it is that's important to you, professional services, other business categories, usually what I go to. And then I pick the ones that I'm going to primarily need. So I definitely need the lead one. We're definitely going to have a purchase. We're definitely going to have a schedule. We're going to have some view content, like a video in there. There is going to be an application for some, and there is going to be an initiate checkout. Now, if you have a sort of a registration process you can go ahead and in here some people like to use that cart i like the initiate checkout better so i'm just going to leave these on here and again you can add as many as you want i wouldn't add all of them i would just add the ones that you are going to be using leave the others pretty much out so i'm going to go ahead and continue and then in here what i'm going to do is i'm going to select the event id okay and then i'm going to basically select all of these okay all right. And now instead of to continue, I need to make sure I go to the next one. All right. I go to the next one. Okay. Click on the next one. Event ID. Keep going. Sometimes you have to click a little bit out of it because that those boxes are becoming incredibly annoying. All right. I'm going to keep going. 
All right, I'm gonna keep going here. Again, not super exciting, but the point of it is, is that I'm gonna do it to each one. So I'm gonna do it for all of them, not to bore you. And then just know that again, it's a Venn ID and all the ones at the bottom, if you wanna follow any kind of guy, and then just kind of go from there. All right, now that I've checked all the boxes, I did all that. Again, I'm just gonna go through, oh, missed one. And just make sure that all of them are good to go. And we're set. So then I'm gonna hit continue. It reviews everything with me again. I'm going to hit continue and then I can hit send instructions, uh, which I'm going to do anyway. I'm just going to send to my business account. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and hit send. Awesome. So I have that information and then I'm going to go ahead and hit finish. Now that I hit finish, I'm going to go back to settings. I'm going to go all the way. Oh, this happened to me last time. Sometimes it does this. You got to reload it. And then worst case scenario, sometimes you have to log back in and log back out. I'm going to go ahead and log back in and log back out because this is what happens sometimes as you kind of go through. Actually, believe it or not, if you actually toggle the top right hand side, it actually fixed it. So right here, just make sure you have the right ad account selected. I'm going to go ahead and go to settings, go all the way down. Now that I've set up Converges API, I don't need to get started manually. All I need is to generate access token. So this is going to generate a code. I'm going to copy this, the same Google Doc that I did. I'm going to come over here and this is going to be the code for Converges API. And then what I'm going to do is I'm also going to get my pixel ID code. And then what I'm going to do for that is I'm going to come over here. If you go back to overview, or actually it was right there. If you go to settings, then your pixel ID is right here under pixel ID. All mine are going to be blurred out, but just so you understand yours would, you would want to do that. I'm going to come over here and then pixel ID. Boom. I'm going to come over here. Now all my funnels are going to have the initial pixel ID. Remember we set it up in the settings area and this is where we put it. I'm now going to create Converges APIs automations. So that way I can track everything that's coming on. So I'm going to go all the way to our end. I'm going to create a folder. I'm going to call it conversions API. There it is. Converges API right here. I'm going to go ahead and create a workflow and I'm going to start from scratch. Now, all I want to do is track when a lead comes in from a Facebook form or from when a form submission happens. So here I would do um, zero one, I would do CAPI and I would do lead conversions. All right. And I would say probably form lead conversions just to make it super easy. And then here, I'm going to basically come in here and I'm going to put in form submitted, right? If it's a specific form, I narrow down to the form is this is get my prompts, boom, right in here. And I can even get another one going and so forth and so on. I mean, I could just keep going and going and going, right? I can list it. If it's a Facebook lead form, I would do Facebook lead form submitted, add a filter, select the form or whatever the form is for the ones we want. And then here I would immediately do Facebook Converges API from a funnel event, right? Or it could be a lead event, but we're gonna do from a funnel event because it's gonna be inside of a form. All right, in here in the access token, remember those codes, the access token we got for Converges API after we set it up. I'm gonna drop this in here. And then the pixel ID is gonna be the same exact thing. All right, I'm gonna drop that in here. All right, this is gonna be definitely a lead and I'm gonna go ahead and hit save action. I would turn this on and my Converges API would be ready to rock and roll. All right, now, if you're gonna do a purchase one, it's gonna be the same thing. I come in here, I create another workflow, hit continue, scheduling, a purchases, all is gonna be the same. This will be 02, CIPI. This is gonna be purchase conversions, all right? This will be from an order submitted, right? On any product that we have, global product you could do is Boom, whatever you want there. And then I would come over here again, Facebook conversions, API access token. It's going to already have it saved pixel ID. Boom. This time it's going to be a purchase event and the value is going to be, let's say 997. All right. USD save action. Fantastic. Turn on and hit save. Now come back out of here. Make yourselves a little bit easier. Come in here. We're going to duplicate the workflow. Call this number three. This is now gonna be, oops, instead of purchase conversion, this is gonna be appointment. All right, I'm gonna come over here, appointment conversions. Instead of order form submitted, we're gonna delete this. This is gonna be appointment status. Event type is normal, appointment status is confirmed. And if you wanna track a specific calendar, you would do in calendar and it will be our discovery call calendar. Boom, hit save action. And then this is all squared away now, see, because you don't have to do it. And then I'm gonna come over here. This is going to be schedule, no value, and I'm gonna hit save. All right, and then you turn this on. Now you're fully tracking your Converges API and that's pretty much it. 
The only thing that I would honestly say to do is here, when you have your pixel all set up in here, come back in here and add people and assign partners like your agency. So for instance, if I come in here, I would pick my partner ID and then I would put it in here. And if I had a partner or another person, I always recommend adding two people to a pixel. You would add a person to the pixel. So you would come in here. Here's my partner right here. He can manage and view pixels. I would assign it to him also and hit done. I would add another person. I'll add myself, assign to manage pixels. And now it's all done. It also acts as a backup for you. So hopefully this helps and we'll see you in the next one.